more on this, I want to bring in CNN aerospace analyst Miles O'Brien, who is with us uh, from Falmouth, uh, Massachusetts. And I will ask you what people in Massachusetts can expect. But before I do that, I, listen, <laughs> Miles, I want, I want to try and tackle this from both ends, right? So let's speak first uh, about those who really think this is a big deal. Can't wait. Why are people so worked <laughs> up about it? I got to tell you, Paula, I uh, up until 2017, I would have been similarly blasé about it. I had seen an annular eclipse back in the early 90s, uh, which means that the, the moon's orbit was such that it was a little farther away. And so you see that kind of ring of fire around it. Uh, but I saw uh, the total eclipse in 2017 and I was kind of blown away by it. I, it surprised me how much it sort of uh, took me, um, it, it, it struck me in an emotional way. Uh, things get quiet, it gets cold, uh, sort of a silence. Uh, there's an eerie kind of darkness. And uh, it's a reminder uh, for me of a couple of things. First of all, it's amazing we can predict them down to the second, kind of a testament to how smart we are as humans, but also a reminder of uh, what tiny little specks we are in the in the universe. So it's all at once humbling and um, also uh, encouraging about humanity. Miles, in quite a poignant way, you've already answered my second question, because it was for those who were thinking, ah, what's the big deal here? You're, you're saying, look, stop and take a look if you can, depending on where you are in North America. Yeah, you know, there are about 32 million people living underneath the so-called path of totality. That's about a 170 kilometer wide band, which uh, extends from Mexico all the way into uh, exiting out of the uh, North American continent in Newfoundland. Uh, so uh, it, people underneath that band don't have to do much except go out to their backyard and take a look up with precautions. We'll tell you about that. Uh, but there are many, many more millions of people that are within a couple of hundred miles of that path of totality. So I suspect we're going to see quite a mass travel event on um, Monday as people uh, attempt to see this. Yeah, and already communities uh, like the Canadian community, the Niagara region, uh, uh, calling for a state of emergency because they are in the path of totality and they expect quite a spectacular view, obviously, over uh, at Niagara Falls. I, I want to ask you, though, as well, about catching this uh, on TV. I mean, will people still be on the edge of their seats or their couches, or, or do you think you really have to step outside, even if you're only getting a partial eclipse? I invite you to step outside. It's okay to do both. <laughs> Watch it for a little while on TV, but as it gets to the point where you're reaching the maximum amount of eclipse wherever you may be, it's an opportunity to go outside and take this all in and uh, remove the electronic filters, so to speak. There's an experience that occurs, but I will say this, a partial eclipse is, is okay. A total eclipse is a very moving experience. So if you can get to that path of totality, uh, get there. Do yeah, it. And a lot of people are traveling. OK, now we get to how you see it, the safety issue. These, these glasses aren't very expensive, and yet you do have to have them, right? Yes. While uh, the uh, moon is partially obscuring the sun, uh, looking at it is not a good idea. Uh, so you want to wear those mylar glasses or get a hold of some welder's glass, number 14 or greater. Or you can create kind of a pinhole camera kind of setup, uh, but do not look at uh, the sun with your uh, naked eye until that moment of totality, at which time take off the glasses and savor that beautiful corona around the edge of the sun. You know, it's a million times fainter than the, the sun itself. And so we don't see it until we get this natural light show from nature. And I want to ask you, you say you saw the one in 2017. I saw the one in 1979, and I do remember it as a child. How will this be different? Is this kind of pathototality if you're in it? Will it really be something that, you know, we won't see for generations? Well, it's going to be 20 years before anybody in North America gets uh, a show like this. So I would invite people to do this uh, if it's in their backyard. 
Uh, this go around, it's a pr pretty good eclipse. Uh, in 2017, the time of totality, the time when the moon completely covered the sun, was a little more than two minutes. In this case, because of the way the orbits are lining up, it's going to be a little more than four minutes. So uh, there's a little more time to savor it. Uh, it's it's worth doing and seeing. You know, eclipses happen all the time all over the planet. It's just that the planet is 70% ocean. Uh, so mostly we don't see them. Uh, in this case, uh, it's going right through huge population centers uh, in North America. And uh, all we can hope for now is good luck with the weather. And right now, there's a lot of clouds uh, on the, in the forecast, unfortunately. Yeah, we are all hoping that will change. Miles, I will not ask you to predict the weather, but you really did sell this. <laughs> Thanks so much as we all await that total eclipse. Appreciate it. You're welcome, Paula.